Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, a little different of a video. I wanted to do just kind of like a catch up chat. I'm outside right now. My daughter's napping, so I thought I'd take advantage of the nice weather and do a little chat video. Um, I'm sorry if it's loud. Um, we have a lot of neighbors having their trees taken down lately. Um, a lot of the um, trees around here are very old and dying. So in the past two years, all I hear in the summer is just <laughs> trees being taken down. So I apologize for that. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update on where I am with my current journal. Um, this is number 145. I started it in June 5th. I'm trying to keep track of dates. It's not something I usually do, so I tend to forget. But um, I'm still in it. I'm, I'm taking my time with this journal just because Amazon, like as soon as I posted my video about loving this journal so much, Amazon, uh, I don't know, ran out of stock or something. I contacted their customer service because I was desperate to get more of these notebooks. And they said that they will restock in a few weeks, but I don't know. The status had read currently unavailable. Usually when it's restocked or it will be restocked, they have you know a message saying that more coming soon, but they didn't have that on there. So I was so worried that it was gonna be discontinued. So I've been really taking my time with like, you know, what I have left right here. But you guys hear me go on and on about this notebook. I'm, I'm not sponsored. Boy, I wish I was sponsored for this notebook because I love it so much. But uh, you know, this is what I have left. I'm savoring it. There's no pictures in here. I usually fill my scrap therapy journal, at least currently with uh, photos. And then this is just all actual journaling. Um, and but I wanted to show you kind of the actual difference in daylight of the Irushizuku uh, inks that I got, that I've been posting about. And the difference is so startling when you have them being uh, used with a dip pen versus a um, fountain pen. When I first swatched them, I used the dip pen because I didn't know what I wanted to ink up with the inks. So I, uh, I used my dip pen to kind of swatch and the colors came out so beautifully and I was so impressed. But then when I inked up my pens, my fountain pens, the colors came out completely different and it was a huge disappointment. I actually went back and refilled, re-inked those pens with this very same colors to see if maybe it's because I didn't shake the bottle enough or, I mean, normally for inks like this, it's a dye ink. You don't really have to shake it, I don't think. Um, but look at the Shinkai at the top with the dip pen. It is such a like beautiful dark blue-gray kind of color. And then when you have it in the Lamy Safari, it comes out as this more of a cloudy slate blue-gray. The Asagao is this beautiful intense blue but then it just turns out to be a regular blue with the uh, fountain pen. The Yamabudo is like this beautiful rich color at the top but then it comes out such a lighter color it's almost exactly like my Noodler's Cactus Fruit ink. You can almost not tell the difference between the two which is disappointing because if I use it with a fountain pen, um, you know, I got it for this color. I didn't want it for this color, which is one that I have a very similar ink color with. Um, so that's the update on those three inks. I'm actually looking to use up some of the samples that I have left from a Noodler's ink sample um, set that I'd gotten, not a Noodler's, um, a pen ink sample stuff that I got from Goulet Pens years ago. And these are all the colors that I have left. And then these two are ones that um, a friend um, let me take a sample of. Um, so I actually, I don't know the names of them. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got left. And I'm actually thinking of moving into 
another Daiso spiral notebook that I have to use up. I'm tempted to just maybe buy like a Rhodia notebook or something like that to use, but I'm not sure because I feel like I should just kind of stay on track with using up things. Um, I did search the internet, the whole of the internet, to find another one of these Amazon Basics notebooks to see if somebody was trying to resell it because they didn't like it. I found one on eBay and I, I did buy it. Um, and it was brand new. Um, and that was the only one I could find. So I'm hoping they restock my favorite notebook. It would be a shame for me to just find something so wonderful to use and then, you know, it not be in stock anymore. And it's a very affordable price. These are like $10, $11. Um, I know the Rodeo ones run between like 18 to 20 dollars which is I guess reasonable for a journal but you know if I can get one that works with fountain pen and be less expensive that would be great um these are the current books that I'm reading I had to let that Claire Tomlin Jane Austen a life book go I've ranted about it quite a bit on my social media already I did not like it at all I have it rated very low on my Goodreads app, um, but the Agatha Christie book, uh, the 450 from Paddington, I've been reading for a while. Um, I started it and then I, you know, for the longest time I didn't have time to read, so I just kind of let it go. So I'm getting back into it. I'm almost done with this entire book because it's all of Jane Austen's juvenilia. And I've been kind of skipping around I'm currently going to start the Watsons. Um, I've finished a majority of the short stories that are in here. And then I am occasionally picking up the Dickinson book to read all her poems that are compiled. So each page is its own poem. And I got this at Barnes and Noble a while ago. And I'm a good portion. I'm halfway through it. I've never read Emily Dickinson's works um, until now, so this has kind of been ongoing for the past year. And then I'm almost finished with E.M. Delafield's Diary of a Provincial Lady. This is such a great book. It's so witty. It's so humorous. I am thoroughly enjoying it. And this is actually my favorite of the collections. The it's the Macmillan Collector's Library. They have beautiful covers. And the inside interior is so pretty. That's what it looks like. It's, I love these books. I plan on collecting all of my favorite classics in this uh, collection. I love pocket-sized books, if you can't tell. And then I, since I've decided to just stop reading Claire Tomlin's book, I am going to go back into my vintage set of Jane Austen books. And I'm going to reread Sense and Sensibility. So I'm about that far. And this set is really cool. I got this, I thrifted it a while ago. And this is a set that uh, has them in volumes as they were published when uh, she had them published, so it's in volumes and it's not the entirety of the book. So I love these little pocket-sized books. So this is a great set. I don't know the year, I don't think. I don't think there's a year on these. So I couldn't tell you how old this set is, but um, it's one of my favorites. So that's it. It's getting really noisy and I apologize for that, but I just wanted to give you a little catch up of what I'm up to. I've been doing a lot more reading than journaling, just kind of uh, reprioritizing what I want to do. And I'm still in the midst of Jane Austen July. And I've been really enjoying kind of updating my Goodreads app because I used to be on it and then I let go. Now I'm back on it and I'm trying to go back and try to add all the books that I'm I've read and I've started making a list of all the books that I want to reread and then uh, just kind of revisit all the classics because classics are books that I love to read so 
anyway, I hope you are all well and staying safe, enjoying great weather if you're, I guess, on the Northern Hemisphere. And then um, let me know if you have any video requests. All right, take care. Bye.